All right, ghosts, take off your sheets and belay those spooky noises because it's time for the gun show. The show that knows optical camouflage is no excuse for lack of style. Today, we're giving you some fashion tips for Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Now, in this game, any silenced weapon is like your little black dress. It's gonna do you fine in most situations, but with this kind of gun wardrobe, an elite soldier needs to know how to accessorize. So sit back and relax while we highlight some of our favorite weapon outfits in this episode of The Gun... Uh, what? Stealthy? Oh, alright. The Gun Show. On second thought, let's start this show off loud with light machine guns and the oddly named Stoner 96. While some may see the word stoner as derogatory, the Stoner 96 takes it as a compliment because it's a fire-breathing land cannon with strong self-esteem. This bad boy boasts best-in-class rate of fire and reaches its full potential with incendiary ammo. Undergassing, a compensator, a fixed stock, and an aiming laser all help keep you on target while you're on the move, and a bipod gives you accuracy for flaming enemies at a distance. The cool tones of an oceanic paint job will have your foes wondering, huh, what is it about that gun that is just so soothing to my eyes? Oh god, my eyes! My eyes are on fire! <laughs> Also on the LMG menu, we've got a dead accurate, hard-hitting classic, the Pig. I mean, the M60. Throw some pink navy AOR1 paint on that oinker to match its namesake, and then up the ante with armor-piercing ammo. As with other LMGs, bring down the recoil by undergassing and going with the standard muzzle. With a bipod deployed, the M60 might as well be a laser beam. And hey, feel free to add an actual laser beam if that's your style. Like its porcine namesake, the M60 has a big appetite that only trucks can satisfy. Now come on, all you hostiles, squeal! Next up is the PDR category, where nothing caught our eye quite like this weapon that sounds like it would be forged in the fires of Mount Doom. It is, of course, the Goblin. In real life, it's the Patriot Ordnance Factory P416 PDW rifle. But that doesn't sound like something that will pop out of a bush and gnaw your ear off. And isn't that what going behind enemy lines is all about? Now, the Goblin wouldn't be the same without a multi-cam green paint job and a dual magazine for two times the evil. Add on a small foregrip, a mean-looking compensator, a fixed wooden stock, because Goblins aren't so good at metallurgy, and a small red dot for your beady red eyes to look through. And keep in mind, the feisty little goblin doesn't take kindly to suppressors. At, I mean, well, technically it does, but come on, a goblin? You can't put a lid on one of those little critters. Now, all this goblin talk and talking like a goblin has got us thinking about getting medieval on the shadowy forces arrayed against you. What better way to thwart them than with miniature cannonballs from the barrel of your trusty shotgun? We have a veritable blunderbuss for you by the name of the MTS-255. Oh, wait, is that... is that a revolving chamber? <laughs> well then, looks like a quick metaphor changes in order because this revolver slash shotgun wouldn't look out of place in a Wild West quick draw showdown. In true cowboy style, we put on a wood stock, shortened the barrel, and coated our bullets with a lick of fire water. You'll be hard pressed to kill anything more than 10 paces away with this buck and bronco, but boy does it feel good to turn a group of hostage takers into a Texas barbecue. I like mine charred black on the outside, but nice and pink and juicy on the inside. And veering away from that uncomfortably cannibalistic sentiment, we're getting an eyeful of one of the most attention-grabbing stocks in the game. Hello, M590A1! Pow, you're just getting that folded buttstock all up in my face, aren't you? Yeah! This bootylicious beauty can go the distance, two-shotting targets at 30 meters from the hip or taking them out at 60 meters while aiming down the sights. Aw, oh, hell. Come on, you can do better than that. Now let's toss on an aiming laser, a long barrel, compensator, folding stock, posted slide, and magnified HWS sight. Now watch some of your 60-meter targets go down in one headshot. Top it all off with a sexy coat of Indian vertical lizard paint, and you are look in good. Now for those of you who just don't like playing fair at all, you're gonna want to get yourselves a sniper rifle. And because we're still excited about that revolver shotgun, meet the SRR, a revolver sniper rifle. A match trigger and some more Indian vertical lizard gets you set up, but it's the ammo that'll really knock them down. There's the Exacto ammo that fires a self-guiding projectile, and the Raufoss ammo that explodes. That's right folks, exploding headshots. 
Also, be a friendly ghost and go with the OTR scanner that designates targets for your allies. Then grab a pistol grip and an angled foregrip because you're a sniper, not a camper, and you wouldn't want to deprive your enemies of the chance to hear that sweet revolver reload sound. Click. Zzzz. For another long range option, grab an elephant sized sniper rifle, a rifle that will kill anything it touches. Shins, toes, fingers, still dead. It's the KSVK. A red Kuwaiti special forces paint job lets all the predators out there know you're poisonous. Then get better range with a longer barrel and an angled foregrip. You could throw on some armor-piercing ammo, but it's a little overkill to be honest. After all, you're hunting humans, not steel-plated dinosaurs. I mean, that'll probably happen in the future, right? With time travel, we could totally go back and hunt dinosaurs and give them steel-plated armor, but it, in this case, it's, it's too much. Now, when it comes to assault rifles, the question you need to ask yourself is, do I want an underbarrel grenade launcher for my sink shots, or am I a lame if you answered the latter, then perhaps I can interest you in a snug little shotgun to tuck under your barrel. The TAR-21 gives you all these options and a suppressor to boot. Toss on dual mags and a heartbeat sensor to become a medium-range monster to your enemies, and a helpful heart arrhythmia detector to your friends. If you like to focus on the actual barrel of the gun instead of what's underneath it, then the like-minded S805 is for you. With a 75 round drum magazine, all you compulsive reloaders out there can relax and spend more quality time with each clip. Just look at all those bullets! Ah, but they don't mean a thing if you ain't got that accuracy. So increase your control by undergassing and using a fixed stock, angled foregrip, and aiming laser. Whew, that is a lot of guns, but before we wrap up, let's not forget the sidearms, shall we? We'll make it easy by giving you two options. Do you want it to go boom? Or do you want it to drop like a sack of potatoes? For the go boom option, there's the MK40 GL and the G106. Both fire highly explosive rounds that can reduce convoys of bad guys to roadkill in a matter of seconds. I'm sorry, Warhound, why did I bring you along? No, I don't have time for pats right- And no, I didn't bring your begging strips, alright? Now will you stop whining and keep up, please? For the drop like potatoes option, check out the card. It's the Chris Vector's smaller cousin, and uses the same recoil compensation system to tame the heavy 45 round. Kit it up with armor-piercing ammo, a suppressor, and a laser sight. This gun was also spotted in the Black Ops 2 trailer, so here's your chance to get in some practice before fighting those other futuristic fights later this year. Don't forget to top it off with a fine coat of Marine Marpat, because it never hurts to look good when you're infiltrating behind enemy lines. And with that, our summer fashion show for Ghost Recon Future Soldier comes to a close. Like your mom telling you to always wear clean underwear, the gun show has only your best interest in mind. Have you spent some time gunsmithing around? Got any sweet setups you want to strut on the comment catwalk? Let us know below. And hey, thanks for watching The Gun Show.